All right, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna be taking a look at SEMdash, which just hit today on AppSumo's Black Friday event. So we're gonna take a look at this. You're gonna see the pricing that I put on the screen for you right here. You have tier one comes in at $79. Now this launched months and months ago. Um, and I do believe I gave this an extremely high rating. You can go and actually check out my first review. Just go to my channel, put the search button on and type in SEMdash LearnWire. Just go to YouTube and type in SEMdash LearnWire and you'll get my full review video. This is just going to be more of an update video, second look, and we'll dive into just looking at a couple of the, do some basic research, keyword research and so forth. We'll take a look at their website and everything, but I'm actually recording this video a day before it's actually available on AppSumo. So that's why you don't actually have the pricing. You'll see right over here that it says that it's sold out or whatever. Um, but at the time of when you see this video, the, the deal will be available on AppSumo. Click the first link below if you want to go and pick up SEMdash. Now you can see the, the pricing over here. Now I, I do believe it did go up about 10 to 15% overall. So for example, I think that when it launched uh, like a half a year ago, the pricing might've been $69 and now it's $79. So everything just went up a little bit, but pretty much every single deal you're seeing, uh, technically the price went up from the time that they launched. So just FYI. Now the best way to get your hands on this is to be a plus member and then to also take advantage of the 10% off Black Friday sale so you put you get 20% off if you're a plus member during Black Friday. So you'll be able to take 20% off of any of these plans right over here, okay? So there's your pricing right there. It starts at 79 bucks, then goes to tier two, 169, tier three, 399, tier four, 509, and tier five is 589. So that's your pricing. I would go take a look at the reviews real quick and you can see my video right there. My that first video, you can go and take a look at that as well. So we're gonna go and take a look at the site. So they've got a really nice looking website website over here. And what they're claiming is that they have 6.6 .6 billion keywords in their database. And so these levels right here, they're competing with like uh, SEMrush and your refs and your SE ranking. Those are the three big ones that come to mind that have billions of keywords in their database. And this tool is actually trying like, this is like the only lifetime deal that I've seen in reviewing softwares in the SEO space, key, especially keyword research softwares. This is the first lifetime deal tool that I've seen actually even come close to like even a billion keywords. Keywords. So whatever they're doing, this is a big operation. They're getting a ton of uh, keywords, which, uh, you know, at the end of the day, the infrastructure to build something like this would cost a lot of money. Um, to house all of that, right? And so that is a lot of keywords. You're definitely gonna be able to do all of your keyword research with a tool like this. So I can highly recommend it for a keyword research standpoint. They're also claiming almost 3 trillion backlinks in their database and 600 million Google SERPs and uh, analysis as well. So uh, you can keep coming through here. They have full tutorials on how to use their tool, how to ca uh, capture more snippets and get uh, keywords that you have a good chance of ranking for, for the, uh, the, the search snippet, find keywords triggering, Don't domain mentions and AI overviews. They've got discovered untapped keywords right there. Snag backlinks from competitors. And you can just see it just keeps going. Reverse engineer competitor strategies. And they actually have full tutorials on how to do all of this. Find easy backlink wins, spot content gaps instantly, uh, track SERP changes over time. So they've got a keyword uh, tracker as well, a SERP tracker. Got really, really good reviews right there. 6.6 .6 billion keywords right here. And you can see that they have this traffic share. You can see the top 100 websites they get the most organic traffic based on your seed keywords. So you can actually go and do keyword research and copy up to like a hundred keywords or 200 keywords. And then you can go and paste it into the traffic share, which I think that's a new feature of theirs. Maybe we'll try to do that. And then it will go and analyze all those 200 keywords. And then it will find websites that are getting the most traffic for all, for those keywords. So it's a really good to kind of a good way to do research for websites that or niches that you are in. Domain keywords, you click on this, you get more tutorials. They've got people also search and people also ask keywords as well. Again, there's their 2.7 trillion backlinks right there. A bunch of different videos upon videos upon training. This is a full fledged, uh, you know, SEO tool. Competition research, top pages, keyword gap, backlink gap, competitor domains, and so forth. So uh, this tool, and then here's the, the pricing that you would actually pay if you don't pick this up on AppSumo during Black Friday for a lifetime deal, pay one time and get access to the tool forever. The 
these are the actual prices. They would actually start at like $49 a month just to get access to the tool, right? And then they have a $100 plan and a $199 plan. So full-fledged, and I do like to go look at the research or the, 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 the search traffic coming to their site right now is almost at 20,000 right now. So it's definitely not terrible. It's definitely not amazing. It's kind of right there in the middle. 20,000 is pretty good. So they, they probably are in that phase of getting customers, getting customer acquisition on a monthly basis, people signing up for their tool for the first time of their plans, which is great. You always like to see that, right? But this is the perfect time to come in and pick up this tool right now. This is, I hand selected this tool to do another video for you because I really, really like this tool and it was the closest ref semrush alternative a lifetime deal that i have seen in five years come to AppSumo. There's your pricing once again, right there. I will just put that on the screen a little bit bigger for you. So there's your pricing tiers right over here. Click the link below, go pick this deal up. This is gonna probably be my top recommended tool. If you do any kind of keyword research, even if you do YouTube, you can use this tool for doing keyword research to create videos on so you can rank them on YouTube and Google and get continued evergreen traffic month after month. So even if you're not doing websites, even if you're just doing YouTube, this tool and this, you can actually use this tool if you're doing Pinterest, Pinterest is another search engine, but it's like the social media search engine. You could create pins specifically for keywords and all kinds of good stuff. So um, definitely highly recommend this tool. Now I'm going to go and log in and we'll be right back. So what I'm on right now is I'm on AppSumo, looks like tier one, 1000 credits right there. And so you can see that we have our domain rank right there is five for LearnWire Pro traffic right there, keywords and backlinks right there. So we'll just go click on that so we can see what a website that's connected inside of here kind of looks like you can see right over here it even tracks uh, unique ips uh, subnets broken backlinks referring domains backlinks keywords uh, where your traffic worldwide united states united kingdom germany canada india you can see even kind of organic position distribution so unfortunately we're just not there between one and one two or three we're not really uh, capturing positions right there and we really just have probably the story most people you know kind of suffer from is page two three and four is where most of our keywords are at right now but they do put the search intent in there the navigational informational the sites that were the keywords that we're ranking for the search volume the keyword difficulty score it, it reminds me a lot of like semrush this is very similar to like semrush and your top page is bringing in like a, this article crushed it it really had nothing to do with my website by the way it was actually a pinterest test that i was doing and i went ahead and just threw that up on my site and i actually made pinterest pins and it was a complete Complete different uh, test I was doing and end up being the biggest um, article that I've put on my site, which had nothing to do with software, right? So that's actually kind of funny how that all works out right there. But that was my biggest one. And we're ranking for 77 keywords for that article. So that was a really good keyword for me. And you can come through here, competitor positioning uh, map right over here, your top competitive domains right there. You look at all these stats, backlinks, referring domains, you got the new and lost backlinks. That's a lot of information. You can rerun the analysis, you can export this PD to PDF, you can share this, you can start a tour. You've got the uh, dark mode right here that you can go with as well. We'll stick with the light mode right now. And then you have your menu on the left. So the navigation is super, super clean, easy to find what you need. And this like SEM dash, right? I just think of SEM rush. This is the closest tool. Um, and it is just interesting that they called it SEM dash and it's very similar to SEM rush and it even looks like it and everything. But again, this is, it's very impressive what we can do now. I'm not going to be able to go through all this stuff right over here. I mean, you can connect your search console, keyword clustering tool right over here, which is just insane. Go watch my first review video. I'll leave that below as well. So you can, I did a deep dive at the time that this came out. I'm not going to be able to go over everything in this video. Let's just do some keyword research together. So you've got all these different ways that you can do all this, but let's go and do some uh, key, uh, let's say keyword discovery, long tail keywords. Let's just go do keyword discovery. And what, what example do we want to do right now? Let's just go with golf. So I'm going to go with golf right here. Top keywords for golf. All right. So we've got our keywords are loaded right here and there are 2.2 million keywords that have to do with golf. So right off the bat, I, I just, I almost want to go back and watch my video from whenever this came out months ago. Like I don't, I don't remember, recall them having 6 billion keywords on their database. So they've really, really grown this into a full fledged tool where I'm um, you know, I may even have to go and upgrade my account because this is uh, this is definitely the most impressive SEO 
keyword research type tool that I have seen hit AppSumo before. So I highly recommend this if you don't want to pay $140 per month for a, a SEMrush or $100 a month for Ahrefs and be limited. You can go in and jump into this tool right over here, but you've got all these right here, all these keywords. Now you can start filtering this down right over here. Uh, we could go with keyword difficulty right, uh, right off the bat. Maybe we want to go with a max of 10. Maybe we are starting a new site. So you definitely want to go like that. And you're going to see this 2.2 million. We're going to go ahead and apply the filters. That 2.2 million is going to be cut down probably in half or something like that. It's going to take a minute before it to do its thing. I will say that I'm noticing I'm talking right here through this. It is taking it a little bit of time to kind of load because I mean, you're talking uh, like a crap load of, of information. There is kind of a delay on that. I, it would be nice if they could speed that up. Even 50% would be really, really nice because you're not, uh, you don't really get those delays with, with a uh, SEMrush or refs and they're handling six, you know, 10, 12 billion keywords and you're not getting those delays. So I would like to see the loading and everything a little bit faster, but still you can wait, you know, seven seconds, you get all the information. Now we're at, we just chopped this into, you know, we chopped this by more than half, about 75% of the keywords are now gone because we're looking at easy to rank keyword difficulties right over here. Now, what I want to do is maybe go over here to volume and maybe I want to go with just 10 and I want to go right over here to 100, right? And so I'm going to apply that and you can see we're adding in filters up here. Then we're going to go to keywords right over here. You can go to include, you can, um, you know, all, add more keywords. If you want to say you want to go into more tr uh, informational type keywords, then maybe you would want to put like who and how and, you know, how to tutorials, stuff like that. Um, one other thing that I would like to see that I don't see that they have is that I would love to be able to filter these keywords by how many, by like long tail or, now they do have a long tail keywords, we'll go take a look at that as well, but I would like to be able to filter this by like, I wanna look at keywords that are only six uh, words or more. I don't wanna go after these, you know, two or three keywords. I wanna go after the ones that have a lot of keywords in the phrase because those are truly long tail keywords. And so I would like to see that. Um, not really seeing that, but I'm just going to show this example as well. So we have include, we can come in here and we can say um, who, we can say what, we can say how, uh, we can say tutorial type keywords. No, I don't want to go with fine. Let's just go with that for now and push apply as well. And then you do need to go over here and apply the filters, hit that apply filters button. It's going to go into the loading phase again. Now this part's a little bit weird and different because um, we don't have, um, golf is no longer in a lot of these keywords right here. So I'm not really sure where the heck these keywords came from. Now this is definitely coming from the include keywords right over here. Yeah, so we would need to mess around with this a little bit more, but I don't even know why these keywords are even showing up right here for a keyword that we typed in for golf. But now we can go over and take a look at maybe, let's take a look at long tail and see what this does for us. Let's go with golf as well. The United States English, we're gonna search right here, 5 billion keywords in the database on this one. So it looks like each one of these are like kind of their own database, if you will. And this one has over 5 billion in it. And what you can do is you can look at long tail, you can go with people also, search or people also ask. And again, I would love for them to, to let us have the amount of keywords. A lot of those, all those tools have that, right? Uh, SEMrush has that, Refs have that, um, uh, and SE ranking has that as well, where you can say, hey, I want to look at keywords that are only six or eight uh, long tails long. Um, so you can really, truly look at those long tail keywords, even on the long tail tool. I would definitely expect that, um, because PGA tour golf, that's to me, that's not a long tail keyword. I believe long tail keywords for the most part, they need at least five or six keywords in them. So like golf, that's not a keyword or that's not a long tail keyword that shouldn't really be on this report. But, um, now if you want golf to have to be like, if you type in, instead of us say, just saying golf has our C keyword, maybe we say golf training and maybe golf training, we want it to be an exact match, right? And so maybe that would be a better. So I'm going to say over here, I'm going to say golf training. Maybe we want to build a complete golf training website. And then maybe um, we want to go, you can see right over here, 1.6 thousand volume, keyword difficulty, 17 out of 20. Then you can get these related keywords. You can see the related keywords report by clicking on that right there as well. There's AI analysis, export columns. You can see who's ranking and a lot of information right there as well. I'm going to type this in over here. Looks like you do need to go and just click on this. If you 
come up here and search, then it looks like it takes us to that other page where we get a lot of information specifically about the one keyword. But now we're looking over here at 3000 keywords. You can also click this exact match and apply that. So that 3.3 thousand is probably gonna be uh, narrowed down to under 2000 now because a golf training has to be in there. And then you could come over here and you could go and start looking at, you know, different things. They have SERP, they have volume, and maybe we we'll want to go with max is, you know, 500, a minimum is 10, and we want to apply the filters there. Uh, you need to push the apply and then apply filters. And then maybe keyword difficulty max, I want to go with like 15 right there. I'm going to push the apply button and then apply again. And then now you're going to be able to see some keywords, 500 great keywords that are, you know, really good KD score, really good volumes on that first one. It's always going to have that one up there, right? But then you have all these keywords right over here that we could now go and consider. We have the transactional, the navigational, the commercial intent, informational, all that kind of good stuff. Then you could export this and save that away. So that's how you can do some keyword research. People also search and people also ask. This would be really good for even like YouTube videos. So let's just say maybe uh, golf. I'm going to just say golf um, and, you know, maybe golf. Maybe we type in golf technique and see what we can come up with over here for the people also ask. So again, it has a lot of different forms of tools and ways that you can use the tool to find key words. And there you go, you get this uh, like tree view or you can go with chart view right here. Now there's the tree view right there. And then you can click on the arrow. You're gonna get a bunch of information about this. And then you have the chart view right over here. And you can also, you know, zoom in and then just kind of scroll down. Of course you have keyword lists, you have all kinds of stuff we can go and we can throw in a domain and then we can actually search by domain and see what keywords websites are ranking for, what's performing the best for them and so forth. They've got, they've got competitor analysis, backlink gap, they've got all kinds of good stuff. That traffic share, what you would do is you would paste in a bunch of keywords that you copy and then it's going to go and uh, there's a video explaining how to do that right over here, but it's going to go and find websites that are similar. So you just go into keyword discovery or long tail, find a bunch of keywords and just push copy and then paste them in right here and then analyze that. Uh, it's going to find websites that you could go and, and replicate as well. Looks like they do have a roadmap right over here as well. They have a keyword clustering tool as well, which is great. They've got this tool, top pages analysis. Let's put in one of 10.com and analyze the domain real quick. And it's going to tell you what, what blog posts, what pages get the most traffic on their site, how much traffic they probably bring in the keywords that they're ranking for. And look, you can reverse engineer. This is this right here is probably one of the most important tools that an SEO pays for Ahrefs or pays for SEMrush for is that we can actually look at all their pages and what actually brings in the most traffic and so forth. So we can reverse engineer we can get a pulse on how many pages one of ten actually has and so forth I'm not gonna go over backlinks but they have a full backlink checking tool as well and then you could go and actually get uh, competitor backlinks and so forth last but not least I may be missing it I'm not really sure but this right over here historical SERP you actually just type in a keyword and then it goes and gives you a history of the sites that are ranking and so forth but I'm not really seeing uh, like a traditional keyword checking tool you also can connect your search console so that's a form of that um, I'm not really seeing where we would do that. And then you also when you go to a domain overview and then you've connected a domain, you can see like keywords right over here. Maybe I could click on that and this would open up right here. And then we could maybe go and take a look at like our keywords. So I'll click on the keywords here. So it's going to find the keywords that you're ranking for. It's going to find keywords that you're ranking for. And you're going to be able to see right here what the position is. But as far as like adding custom, adding a keyword, I'm like a SERP checker. I'm not really sure. Like I said, when we click on this historical SERP, it's not really doing that. You just type in a keyword right here and analyze the keyword. But I don't think that that is quite the same as, you know, like a traditional SERP checker like a um, SERP robot or something like that. So, but overall, I, I could spend probably another hour going over through all these tools right here, but this is an amazing software that is going to allow you to do a bunch of keyword research with billions of keywords in here. Like I said, a couple of little things for them. I wish that they would allow us to kind of sort our keywords by like right there, 7 billion 
Google keywords right here, 5 billion keywords right here, last updated 30 days in the last 30 days. Uh, but I would like to be able to like say, hey, I wanna look at keywords that are 10 phrases long or more. Now you could just do an export once you uh, create all your keywords, do an export of that into Excel, and then you could run a formula and just uh, identify how many words there are. And then you could look at it that way. But I really wish they would add that in there. That's just something that I really, really like doing. Uh, but other than that, I, can, I highly recommend SEMdash. The link will be below. Go pick this up. This is the best SEO keyword research tool, SEMrush, Dref's alternative that I've ever seen hit AppSumo. I highly recommend this. Um, this is probably my highest recommendation of a tool for this Black Friday. So thanks for joining me. Go pick this up and I'll see you in the next video.